Hey guys, Joshua Zamora here to show you exactly how to start using Bypass to make your AI content completely uh, undetectable. Uh, so the first thing uh, you're going to see is here is where you enter your content. We've tried to make Bypass as straightforward and as easy to use as possible. Uh, so there shouldn't be many tutorial videos for you to watch outside of this one. This one should cover apps, uh, just about everything that you need to know. Uh, so the first thing you need is obviously some AI content and we have two ways that you can go about this either copy and pasting as you see here or we also have uh, chat GPT integrated into bypass and all you have to do is input your API information and you'll be able to have content written for you truly be uh, passed as a human written piece of content. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into this and let me show you exactly how this works. All right, we built this as a web app and there's literally three options that you have to uh, complete. Number one is uh, you're going to be able to choose the re readability of the content, whether you want uh, basic, which means it will write at a high school level, intermediate, which will write at a college level and advanced, which will write at a doctorate level writing. OK, which is pretty much the highest quality that you can get. Then once you do that, uh, you'll be able to choose whether you want uh, the usage of that to be general, uh, a blog post and marketing so that our platform knows exactly how to structure and format your content. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go directly over to chat GPT. Uh, and here's actually a, a piece of content that it's actually already written for me uh, for uh, all around intermittent fasting. So I'm going to copy this. Then I'm going to come over here to uh, GPT zero, which is honestly the harshest uh ai detector out there it's probably the best and the and and the toughest one to actually um get through so what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste this content that was just written for me uh using chat gpt i'm going to click get results and you'll see that this says your text may include parts written by uh, ai so now i'm going to take this piece of content i'm going to bring it over to bypass i'm going to paste that in there I'm going to go ahead and leave it at intermediate for now. I'm going to hit bypass this content. And now our system is getting to work for me. And not only is it going to be improving the quality of this content, but it's also going to make it fully undetectable. All right. And there you go. Our uh, the process has now completed. But there's one other thing that I also want you to notice is that not only did it improve the quality of this content, but it also added to it. So it took it from 427 words of the original content that ChatGPT wrote for me and it turned it into 726 words. OK, and let's just read some of this so that you can see that it does give it a much better tone, a much better quality, and it just gives it a much more human written aspect to it. OK, uh, the practice of intermittent fasting has become increasingly popular among health enthusiasts worldwide. While it may seem like a new fad in nutrition science, its roots can be traced back to ancient times when fasting was often tied into religious or cultural customs. By understanding these historical connections, we gain valuable insights about how intermittent fasting could potentially benefit our modern lifestyles today and beyond. And let's read some of this one here. Uh, intermittent fasting, a unique pattern of eating that eating uh, that alternates between periods of fasting and consuming meals has gained significant attention worldwide. While it may seem like a modern health trend, its origins trace back to ancient practices often tied to religious and cultural rituals. You can see that this one is much more uh, to the point, uh, doesn't really have much personality to it uh, compared to this one that does have a lot more personality and uses we and all that stuff uh, in it, okay? Uh, so let me go ahead and copy this, go back to uh, GPT-0, get results, and you can see that now your text is likely to be written entirely by a human. OK, so again, not only did uh, Bypass go ahead and uh, elevate the quality of this by giving it a true human touch to it, it added to it. And at the same time, it made it fully undetectable by the top AI detector out there. OK, GPT-0, like I said, is the harshest uh, AI detector out there. Uh, and, uh, you know, it is the top one being used right now. And you see just how simple it was to turn your content to a much better quality and uh, make it fully undetectable using bypass uh, in a matter of seconds. Let me go ahead and do one more uh, so that you can see just how uh, powerful this platform truly is. Here's another 
content uh, piece of content that was written for me all around skincare. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this through. Oh, run this through uh, GPT Zero one more time, so that you can see that uh, your text may include parts written by AI. Okay, I'm gonna bring this over now. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna do a doctorate level, and then I'm gonna hit bypass this content. And there you go, that process has, com has completed. And once again, you'll see that uh, it turned 589 original words written by ChatGPT, and it turned it to 955 words. So not only is it improving the quality, it's increasing the amount of content that you're able to post on your websites, and it's making it fully undetectable. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna come back to uh, GPT-0. All right, I'm gonna hit get results. And you can see, again, your text is likely to be written entirely by a human. So Bypass, again, allows you to quickly and easily increase the, your content, uh, increase the quality, and make it fully undetectable, okay? And this is going to allow you to get ahead of the curve uh, and allow you to get more rankings, get more traffic, get more sales by being able to confidently use AI content that will be fully undetectable and you can be 100% confident in building and scaling your business using AI content without having to uh, chat GPT and I will copy this content in case you already have content written inside of your account and then we can go back to bypass paste that into there and then here you have two options to choose from so first you're going to choose the readability so if you want it to stay at a basic level, which is equivalent to a high school level of writing, an intermediate level, which is uh, equivalent to a college level of writing, and advanced, which is equivalent to a doctoral level of writing. Uh, now, of course, depending on who your audience is and the uh, information that you are uh, writing about is about, uh, this is it'll determine which level of writing that you want. Okay, so when it comes to something uh, like skincare, I'll most likely leave it to a basic uh, equivalent uh, 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 to high school because uh, if it's just the regular everyday uh, teenager or young adult that wants to uh, get information about taking care of their skin, uh, I don't want it to go uh, get too technical and go too far over their head where they don't understand the information. I want to keep it as simple as possible, so I'll just leave it at high school level. And then here you'll choose whether you want uh, a general, whether you'll be using it as a general use, uh, which can be used for any type of text, and it will attempt to mimic the input text style as much as possible. Uh, a blog post which will structure the rewrite in the style of an informative blog post uh, or article, or a marketing use which uh, is going to be used to give the rewrite a sales promo copy style of writing. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to just uh, be using this for a blog post. So I'm going to choose that. Then I'm going to hit bypass this content. Uh, and that's it. That's all you have to do uh, for bypass to start working for you. And this is probably going to take about 30 to 90 seconds, uh, depending on how much uh, bypass actually uh, adds to your content. Because here you can see there's 589 words in the original content. And uh, a lot of times bypass will double that amount. So uh, I'll go ahead and pause this for now and come back once it's finished writing. All right, and now this has finished writing and you can see that uh, it has increased it to 789 words. Uh, so it increased it by about almost 20% uh, or so, 20, 25% uh, more content. So, all right, and from here you can just copy this text and go ahead and take it over to your website and get it published, all right? Uh, but that's how simple it is to use bypass. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll close this and show you what else uh, you can do. So uh, once you close that, all of your bypassed content is going to be right here. Okay, so you can see this is the one that I just completed right here. All right, and all the other ones uh, are going to be right below that as well. If you ever do need to go back and check it, you can just click the, iron, uh, the magnifying glass there and that content will pop back up okay uh, and also you'll be able to uh, create different containers for your content so let's say that you are uh, writing uh, content or bypassing content for your different niche sites so we'll do skincare add that we'll do um, 
SEO. We'll do that. And let's say that we're also using this for uh, our clients. So John, the attorney, click add. All right, and now you have three different containers and you'll come back to your bypass content. You can click on it again. And here you'll be able to select which container you want that content to go in. And once that's in the container, you can now uh, filter by your different containers. Uh, so that if you are working uh, for just a specific website or just a specific client, you'll be able to just filter out that content. Uh, and if you ever do want to uh, share that content with any of your clients or maybe someone that's going to be posting the content for you, you can just click this share option and send them this link here and it will uh, actually show them all the content that's in their specific container. Okay. Uh, so that's it. That's how uh, Bypass works in a nutshell. The um, most used uh, parts of Bypass that you'll be using, that's how you use